Welcome to the first part of our stencil series for character or uh, player creation. So in this first series, in the first part of the series, we're going to be looking at how to import some uh, sprites that I've drawn in uh, Piscolab to uh, stencil. So here uh, you can see my very poor drawings uh, to try to create a character that looks kind of similar to uh, the classic video game Mega Man from Capcom. And uh, what I want to try to do is put this character into stencil. So let's begin. Um, so first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in stencil, go over to your dashboard and go to actor types on the left hand side. So you have something that looks like my screen right here. And we can click on Create New or over here. So I'll click on Create New on the screen button here. And I'll just call this Ultra Mega Man. And I'm going to add a new animation. Now, you'll notice that I've already uh, I've created a series of animations in uh, Piscolat. So I'm going to have quite a few here. So I'm just going to import the first few. Uh, I'm going to call this one standing, right? Let's add a frame. Okay. Here, now, uh, Stencil usually has the scaling at four times, which means it takes your image and it shrinks it by four times its original size. So um, without getting into too much details, I recommend we change that to one times. And let's choose our image. And let's get our standing right image. That's some downloads, stand right. Okay, I'm gonna add that in. Okay, so that's standing right. I'm also gonna add another one for standing left. Map. And let's see here, standing left clone. Right. Okay, uh, let's also import a few more here as well. Okay, it's important to name your animations uh, as we'll see a little bit later on. Uh, so I'm going to call this run right, and I think running right is actually a series of images. So again, make sure scaling is one, choose your image, and this is running right. Now, when you export this in Piscal app, uh, you'll recall, I'll just repeat that one more time here. So in my running animation, let's take this one as an example. Okay, When you export it over here, uh, when you download it, I usually like to download it as uh, all columns. So it creates uh, a row of three columns, uh, one containing each of the frames here, which looks something like this right here. Okay, so that's gonna you're gonna have something like that when you create three columns. Okay, once you download that, uh, you'll have your animation. And if you look over here in stencil, you'll also see that there's a rows and a columns right here. So uh, it's pretty simple, just match it up. So you had three columns and one row before. Tell Stencil you have three columns now. And you'll also notice that these vertical black lines show up that says, ah, okay, there's actually three images in this. And so it creates an animation for you. Now, I'm not the best animation artist, uh, but I just want to get something going here. So let's also do a run left as well. So I'm going to add one more, run left. Okay, I'm going to add that. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to grab the left animation this time. Running left. Open that. Okay, three columns. Right. Okay, so what we can do now is we can. I'm going to go back to my dashboard and I'm going to her. Sorry, going over to my scenes. And um, for my player designer, I'm going to open up the scene here. So you have a scene of some sort. Uh, you've probably laid out some tiles from the uh, basic tutorial. So what you can now do is you can choose your own actor and you can throw them down here. Okay, and I'm going to delete my previous one, my little stick man. Okay, so I've got my ultra mega man here. And um, for now, uh, I would just recommend that we can throw on some pre-created behaviors here. So I recommend you use the run and jump and run uh, movement. It's usually under controls, jump and run, but if it's not, if Stencil made an update and it might have moved it to a different location, okay, just kind of move around and see if you can find this one that's called jump and run. 
Okay, so these are pre-created controls, and uh, we'll just match it up. Left control will move. Uh, left button will move left. Right button will move right. Uh, up will jump. Okay, we'll keep everything else the same. Okay, now I've got the idle left animation. That's standing left. Okay, idle right, standing right. Okay, run left and run right. Okay, in fact, uh, if we imported the last two jumping animations, I could fill in those last two bits as well. Uh, for now, I'll just use the standing left and standing right. It's going to look a little bit funny, of course. Okay, so let's test this scene out. And while it's testing that out, actually, I'm just going to fill in the uh, last two Mega Man animations over here. So I'm going to add a frame. Uh, jump left. So it's loading up. Right. Hmm. Oh, right. Of course, it's loading up the. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, so in scenes, uh, the, the reason it did that is uh, it's set to load up my level designer demo and not my player designer demo. So I'm going to mark that as my starting scene. So sometimes I like to hit test game instead of test scene. So let's test that out one more time. And uh, let's finish importing this animation while, I'm, while it's doing that. Because it likes to take its sweet time to do that. Okay, let's open that. Jumping left. Add that in. And last one, jumping right. Jump. Oops. Okay, uh, let's try to move that around. All right, we got that wonderful animation. And it is really, really bad, but uh, I'm not an artist, as I said, so there you go. Okay, so he's behaving as, as normal. Okay, that's the jump. Okay, so he be he's behaving quite well. And uh, that's where we will stop this. Uh, I might just try to finish off this last little jump animation. Right. Oops, let's spell that properly. And let's finish this up in this last tutorial here. And we should be seeing you guys next time, I hope. Uh, let's go back here. Oh, wait, hold on now. Let's set up the behaviors one more time. And so let's choose the jumping left, jumping right. Okay, test this up one last time before the end of this video. And uh, we'll be looking at some of um, at controlling character in, in a better way next time because you'll notice that uh, my character slides a little bit when he lands. So um, that might not be so desirable. Okay, so now he's uh, following the jumping animation. So that's looking pretty good. So if you don't want him to slide, uh, we'll look at uh, using our own controls next time. And we'll see you then.